So many viewers take the time to make delicious food, but when they take a picture of it and <laughs> post it, it looks a little bit more tragic than tasty. Uh -huh. All right, we got Kathy from New Jersey sent us a picture of her spaghetti. Let's look at this. Oh. Oh. Now, I'm not hating on the paper plate Please here. Don't, That's a necessity sometimes. I do the paper plate. But what plate. I am hating on are several factors here. One, she has no height. She didn't build any height. It is just like a, a puddle of pasta. Mm -hmm. Next, she did not marry the pasta in the sauce. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? It's just clumped up pasta that looks cold with some ladled on sauce on there. How do you fix it? You build yeah. height. With the old, you know, noodle twirls, I like to call it. So you get your tongs, you get some of that spaghetti, you get a nice long thing, and when you put it in the bowl, you twist it, right? To create that kind of height of that spaghetti. Pasta perfect like that. You're creating Ready. that lovely height. You create, whoa, we're not done yet. Because we are going to create not just kind of granules of cheese. You want that snowy, mm. yes. beautiful. Yeah. I mean, look at that. You will serve a smaller <laughs> portion as well if you do Yeah, this. you will. And you'll eat a lot less until yep. you go back for third, second, and fourth. Next, you take your, your parsley or your fresh basil, and you give it a little. Look at that. Now, look. Oh, that is okay. That's beautiful. I'm going to take a photo of this. What I'm going to do now is give a nice, beautiful lateral shot. I'm checking the edges, making sure that there's, do you want a fork in the shot? Maybe Ooh, so it, controversial. you know, it lets you know that I'm eating the food, you know, maybe that looks good. I like it. And done. Gorge. Right. Gorge. So, Katie, what do you have? Next up, okay, I've got a sad salad photo oh. and I'm just dying to make this one over. This is from Leslie. She uh, posted oh. a picture of her taco salad on Facebook. The problem with this photo is that Everything's kind of all one color, and there's not really any depth or dimension to it. So you want to fix this by adding some contrasting colors to it. I like to take an avocado, fan it out so that you get some different texture in there, and then add something to it like some crunchy tortilla chips, scatter those around, you know, save something that's your brighter colors for garnish, like this purple cabbage, you know, have a few little bits of that on there, and then garnish it with some cilantro. So doesn't that look pretty? And then there's more height to it, there's texture. And also, I always find that plating on a white dish yeah. makes your food really pop. You know, Leslie's photo was on a black dish, and like, you just kind of didn't see it. And this really pops. So <laughs> take a picture of that, Sunny. I yeah. think it's an over I the head Oh wait, it. I forgot one uh, thing. Uh, can't forget the sour cream. I like to put it in a little squirt bottle like this, and this just adds like a soft element to it. Mm. So give it a little, <laughs> one little bit more cilantro. <clears throat> okay, so this one I'm gonna go over the top. Now, the key to over the top, though, is if you have a top light situation, you've got to watch for your shadows. So a lot of times, I'll do it outside mm -hmm. when it's high noon and just put it on the ground. It works. Just put it on the ground, take a photo, go inside and eat. Till the All right, right. Junk next, GZ, what we have? It. All right, that's great. Thank you, uh, thank you, Katie. Uh, Lynn from Facebook. So this is her pork dinner. It's the flash, man. It's a flash. There's, flash a, lot of, there's a lot of issues here. Uh, obviously, this is on a plate. So first, I'm going to take the potato off, and I'm going to showcase each one of these things the exact same the exact same recipe, I'm gonna showcase it better, okay? Okay. First of all, we take our potato, we're gonna put our potato on the side you, so we can keep it warm and you can bake it and serve it just like this. And I'm gonna take some sour cream. You're basically telling the restaurants how to plate their food so their food looks better online because that's a big issue. It is. A and lot of restaurants hate the photos that come out. Well, if you plate it right. Exactly, so then I'm gonna take a little sour cream on top of the potato. Mm. Same recipe, I'm gonna take the corn off the cob Put some on oh, top of this. Oh, look at this guy. And I'm gonna add some chives. So that's eight, basically, wow. that's basically one part. Then I'm Got gonna it. take the vegetables, put some vegetables on the plate, Beautiful. and just put it on the bottom like this. Take the pork chop that have, you have there, cut it and take it off the bone, and just slice it into bite-sized pieces. You wanna make this, you know, easy to eat. You wanna have a problem eating because it, it really it gets very messy and, and just, you get it all over the place. You're so, talking to chefs across America, GZ. You're well, making restaurants better. I am. I'm trying at least, okay? And then we're gonna put a little sauce here. And doesn't that look better than what we saw in the color? That's, a, that's the exact same dish, okay? And the last thing is again, the curse of the flash, right? Mm -hmm. The flash is, is just making everything look, look all watered out. So this is where we photograph all the food here at the kitchen, right here. And just look how familiar? Cool this oh, come on, I have a good light. Oh, this is, oh, come on, come on. Nice, that's how you do it.